Let the hunt begin. Your soul shall be mine. Some people will balk at playing the ooze against someone who could have like a razor or who could have a eagle horn bow. But I think it's fine. It's only one card, and it's rare. And wow, he went for the face. Interesting. So I wanna play this game with him. Nah. My health is more valuable than his. Since my hero ability uses health and his hero ability makes the opponent lose health. I kind of like his play of sending the leper now. It's not one that I would have done. I would have happily traded the 2 1 for the 3 2. Now that I have a harvest stone which can trade favorably if he's doing the trade. That's pretty cool. is the risk of getting buffed or mortal coiled, but you can't live life always afraid. Uh, 15 health against a uh, hunter on turn 4. Feel like constructed. Hasn't even felt like he hit me so hard. A little leper gnome into three two. Hmm. Oh, whoa! Well, no. no. Stormwind Champion, I don't actually uh, get killed by this explosive trap, and I think I will race him, since I will do... Well, wait, that's 5, 9, 13, 15, although this doesn't survive, but this might survive with that. Also might do bad stuff, but we'll see. Freezing. Still attack his face, got me full next turn. On the board, even. Lethal, even if he removes one of these guys. I wonder. Yeah, more storm wind out. I think a lot of mages would fire blast the pyromancer there. Yeah. 
Wow, silence. It's so good. Your Sometimes. Shall not save you first. Die, mage. Silvermoon shall not fall. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Three, six, eight, twelve. Getting close. I'll go for his face since I am so close. Sea giant. I've got the beast in my side. Hard countered. Shadow Flame is definitely gonna prove its value here. Very nice. I guess that's the strong point about Warlocks. They can get this uh, really fast start. Mostly because of the flaming. And then keep riding that momentum. Ride the wave. Wow, wave just got stopped. Keep the Worgen Infiltrator hidden so that on a later turn we'll need to hit one of the targets with Stormforged Axe and we'll not be able to hit them both. Or alternatively, the Worgen Infiltrator can take down the totem. First kill. Just get them. Bashi Berserker, I guess. Of course. Good owl. Nah. Of course. Ah, this is actually a card where he doesn't want Knife Juggler to be on the board. Kind of. Well, yes. Let's see if he's got a way of removing this. I wonder. damage knife, pretty nice. Alright, worth uh, guaranteeing the Kodo. Some really value cards in this arena. The double coat of the double Drake. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> it's beautiful when Knife Chauver and Mad Bomber work together. I 
Life Juggler has been doing some work this game. Pyro Giant Tap. Seems good to me. I'll trade this, my health is more valuable. It's also slightly less vulnerable to AoE. And the mind control tech, which is a like very, very small concern, but a small bonus that it's being played around. Behold the might of storm wind. Oh, forgot to attack with this guy. Alright. Um 7 2, I guess. Behold the might of There's not much point to the owl. It'll die in one shot to the snapjaw. Though, if it takes damage from the snapjaw. Nah, I'll hold it. Very secondary effect of playing around mind control tech yet again. You never know when the silent healing tone might get you. But the flame tongue also it's gonna get you. So it's one, three, six damage, one card. Uh, I'm okay with just going for him. Okay, hit him for 8, uh, and then hit him for 8, 13. That should work. This is probably the way to reduce losing the game the most. Which is all that matters when I'm this far ahead. Hit him with this one and this one, and I win. I wonder. Behold the might of storm wind! Oh, another. Okay. Ooh, he managed to clear that board very well. Your magic shall not save you. Kind of scary. Huh. Sounds rather slow. I guess I'll throw this at him. You love my new recipe. First. Yeah, I'll trade the guy in. Uh, 
Yeah. First but could just sit around. Do have a good kill for it next turn. Oh man, this is borderline greed. Makes so much sense to attack it, but I drew into a good answer to a 2-2. Two -two. For the king! For honor! And now I could get swiped, but it's like, eh. It's not too bad a swipe. Oh, too bad I don't have Al here. Hmm. Alright. The 2 in ended up trading for a 4 2. It's a pretty good deal. Oh, actually, wouldn't be that good. Okay. Giant. Too good to pass up right now. I do have to kill the 3-3 three, three with the 3-3, three, three, 2 5 into 1-1. One, one. Alright. Remember kill to loss. Truth is my shield. I think Wrath Hero ability on Tazdingo may have been better. Maybe. Hard to say. These things tend to be tough. When you don't have the perfect infos. For honor. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Actually, a pretty tough berserker. I think I'm going to have to pass uh, attacking into it this turn to set up for a bigger assault the next turn. Or I could top deck Kodo. That'd be nice. The way the ordering works, I can't attack into it or bad things happen. The hit back is severe. Koda, welcome aboard. A little late. I hear you got a problem. Five, seven, ten, twelve, and just in case, I'll make sure he doesn't have a surprise miracle win. Take away his hopes and dreams. The only thing that'll get me is death.
Your soul shall be mine! I don't think there's going to be a way to get him to unstealth without doing a 3-2, so I'll play it. I have the choice to tap or demon fire one of his guys next turn. That chance of being able to demon fire makes not having a turn 2 play kind of worth. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Oh, that's interesting. You got the uh, power overwhelming and owl combo. Kind of a combo. It is a combo. Reporting for duty. Huh. This could be better. My eyes are open. Against consecration, they'll get quite some tempo, but then I can play guardian, so I'm okay. I better watch out, Organ Infiltrator is a time bomb. Yeah. Took that consecration like a boss. There might be some who look at the entire way this game was played and criticize. Oh man, that Morgan Infiltrator just sat there and did nothing. Without the Morgan Infiltrator there, he doesn't play consecration. And I have a follow-up play on turn 4 to his Consecration, which beats his uh, minion on the board. So this entire series is fine. Okay, so I can make this 7. Any better plays? Mm. I don't want the Owl to come into play. Okay, then I could Demon Fire to finish it off. You know, in all my arena times, I've actually not been able to ever silence off Power Overwhelming. It's kind of fun. Try to get carried in the late game by these fine specimens of card efficiency. And yeah, I'm never running out of cards. Probably. Drink with me, friend. <laughs> Reporting for duty. Behold the might for of storm wind! <laughs> Probably take a little bit of pain. Next turn, I'll deal five to his board with the Azure Drake Shadow Flame. Pew! Reporting for duty. <laughs> That's all he's gonna play. Three, four, five, six. He's putting me at. He's at a lot of health, so I'll do uh, this. Try to control the board. The paladin can't do that much burst. In theory, I wonder if he's planning around AOE, or if the cards in his hand are all spells. Neither really makes sense. He's like, darn! I couldn't pull Trump's Shadow Flame. I better play more stuff. 
But crap, if I play more stuff, it's just all gonna get shadow flamed. I must move quickly. But the march I guys continues nonetheless. The frost wolves stand ready. We must cleanse the sun well. Hmm. All right. Ooh. Okay. There are actually a few ways to carry about this turn. All of them end up pretty good. And the first thought was the Shadow Flame this, which wipes his board, I but wonder. you probably won up that. Now if only I had one more spell damage, I could kill this all, but looks like I will need to instead throw this one into there first. No need to tap. My eyes are open. You, you, you gotta be kidding me! Trade, trade, trade. Trading is super fun. Held a lot back for the Shadow Flame. Warlocks generally don't pack too much AoE. Flame Imp or tap, I'll go... Eh. I need to tap. I don't see a good play next turn. Ramp it with the Harvest Golem into the Spellbreaker. I considered coining Spellbreaker, but you can kill it with this guy in the Fire Blast, whereas if I... Whereas if he does that on the Harvest Golem, then I Spellbreak and then send the 2-1 in. Your magic shall not save you. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Your magic shall not save you. Sneak in a flame imp. Break the symmetry. Storm and Knight to kill this guy off and have two health left on my guy. The alternative is to play stuff well, which trades done. badly. This one. Will not be going in my favor. Oh my gosh. Well, I didn't really expect you to save me. Do I tap? No.
my worst card is this one. Not bad. This final boss is pretty good, but... Yeah. Maybe I can pull off all the tricks here. Make it work. Seems pretty unlikely. But you never know. Sheep Valley. Out of fire blast range. Oh dear. You asked for it. More souls shall be mine. One, two, three. Sure, I've faced a lot of mages this run. Doesn't make the class OP, just means that they're really, uh. just means people think they're OP. It's like a matter of opinion. My own arena results don't have mage winning quite so much. I mean,. They're like in the middle of the classes I win with. Cute. I think it's uh the thing to get over about your Worgen Infiltrator randomly dying to AoE is that the AoE doesn't happen if the Worgen Infiltrator is in stealth. So I have a uh, Started to be kind of happy when the organ infiltrator randomly gets AoE down if the AoE is aimed specifically mm -hmm. for it. It's a good curve. Hmm. Interesting trade. Ignore the harvest gum, I have no easy way to take it out. I could have considered setting the 2 1 into the 2 1. But this play slows him down. Pros and cons. Go for his face. You could go for this. Hmm. This play makes my Urubashi Berserker Frostbolt proof for this turn. So it could be worth it. It misses 2 damage on his face, but such a small difference in health for securing the Gurubashi Berserker staying around a bit is likely worth. Join or die or both. Ready for action. Oh man, value. I could Shadow Flame. Nah. It's pretty good uh, footman there. Buff the Stormwind Champion. My eyes are open. I'll play this one and the Drake so that I don't get such a bad trade with the Venture Comer. Six seven likely goes into six six. Hopefully, I use the three three to kill it. If not, I lose the four four. If not, maybe it gets caught in Shadow Flame. Nah, it's unlikely. Such an exchange ticker. 
invention. Hmm. Maybe it's not unlikely. Interesting. Two. I'm pretty sure if I Shadow Flame the Pyromancer, the secondary effect doesn't go off. But, uh. Not that it would matter since I want to play the ooze instead. Or I could just Shadow Flame this thing as is, then go for the venture. That's pretty good. Have him copy the ooze first. For the Although I suppose giving him the uh, pyromancer doesn't suck because then that means he can't cast a spell before using the pyromancer, otherwise, the priestess does. It's kind of like setting it having a hostage. Whoops. Play this, this will cost seven, so I have many manas. Ooh. Get in there, fight, maggot. I gave him the tool to make a mistake, and he made it with that pyromancer. The sabotage. Your magic shall not save you. Hmm. Okay. And hooray. That game uh, could have gone differently had he played the Pyromancer correctly there. Although I had plenty of game left. Yeah, hooray! Stacks. 